I just finished one of the most amazing, positive Second Amendment experiences. And I really, I have to share it with everybody. Um, I just finished a business trip <clears throat> uh, traveling to three states. And uh, I was armed the entire time except when I was on the airplane. And here's how that went, right? First, first, when traveling by air, don't forget to not forget that you need to take your gun and put it in your checked bag. Your gun goes in your checked bag, not in the bag you're taking on the airplane. What's happening is there are so there are so many um, <clears throat> people getting their concealed carry permits these days, and they actually get excited and they're carrying, and they forget, right, until they get to TSA. Now, in the state that I'm in, which is Idaho, we have so many people carrying guns, especially new folks, and they forget. And TSA doesn't put the bracelets on them and get all crazy. They lose their gun, right? But they have a sign coming out of the parking lot. Leave your little friend in the car. Did you forget your little friend? Because if you didn't, it's a minimum of $3,500 fine. That, I mean, it's and they're trying to make sure that you don't inadvertently take your gun and Try to carry it in your check bag because it's embarrassing and it just slows up the line. But I digress. Let me talk about my experience. So I'm I'm I was going on a business trip. I'm just finishing, and uh, I was going to be traveling to two states, uh, visiting clients, and um, as I always do, I check handgunlaw.us for the current laws for the state that I'll be traveling in, and, and you should too, handgunlaw.us, and that makes you current on what you can and can't do. Well, as it turns out, now I'm from Idaho, and Idaho has permitless carry, which is one level below constitutional carry. As long as you're a resident of the state, you can carry anywhere you want to as long as you're 18 and over and um, able to and not a prohibited person. That's different than constitutional carry like Arizona, which says if you are a citizen or pro permanent resident of the United States and not a prohibited person, no matter where you're from, you are legal to carry open or concealed without a permit of any type in that state. Now, that is a big deal. So I get on the airplane all I do is go to the baggage and say I'm checking a firearm. They give you a little thing like this that you fill out. All you do, fill out means you sign your name and date it. This goes in your bag with your firearm. Your firearm must be, must be in a solid, rigid, lockable container that only you have the key for not TSA. Then you take it to the TSA person. They ask you to unlock it. They ask you to show them the firearm. The firearm must be unloaded, but you can have ammo in the same container. I also put my knife in there. Uh, and um, they do the little thing with the cotton and make sure there's no bombs. And um, seal it back up. I lock it. I lock my bag. And they put it on the conveyor and it's, it's done, and we wave goodbye to each other. And it's a very nice experience. Get on the plane, get off, go to regular baggage claim, get my bag, go into the restroom, into a stall, and saddle up. So I'm coming out of the airport armed. Get the rental car. Now I'm concealed carrying. Rental car. Go to the hotel, the whole nine yards. The next morning, all day, I'm with a client in City Hall, in the city that I'm with. Both the state 
where my hotel is and the state where my client is, which is Missouri and Kansas, are cons pure constitutional carry states with no prohibitions. Signs do not have the force of law. No, no gun signs do not have the force of law. It was the most liberating feeling to be able to travel around with no bullshit while I'm armed. It was amazing. I sat in meetings. I did my normal thing that I always do when I'm, when I'm working. And I was in, there was never a no, there was never a gun free zone is my point. And, you know, I don't tell people I'm carrying, that's the whole point. But I felt the most relaxed in a long time carrying a firearm while on business. So my point is, is that that's just three states, mine and two others. Imagine, imagine being able to travel the whole country that way. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, it is, it, it is not a bad thing. You would not have dead bodies everywhere for people being stupid. It just doesn't work that way. It just doesn't work that way. So I had to share that that is what, that is what Second Amendment freedom feels like feels like. And we need to continue to work to make sure that the ability to do that expands. Now remember, there are two states that were side by side. Missouri and Kansas have the same constitutional carry laws. And they had reciprocity with my state, but I didn't need it because I was in two constitutional carry states. It was unbelievable. Go to handgunlaw.us the next time you're going to be traveling out of your state. You could be pre pleasantly surprised because there's a lot of states that have uh, uh, Second Amendment friendly laws and both knife laws and gun laws. So now I can relax, but I had to say it was great. As always, thanks for watching. Carry on.